All right, so in this video, we're gonna see how to use priority queues for custom classes with our own custom comparators. Uh, what I have in my file right here is just these uh, essentially seven lines, if you include the spaces in between. Uh, the first one is just the standard libraries, and the second is just to define the, to, to, to say that I'm using the standard namespace. And the rest is just the main function, right? So let's go ahead and define our class here. So let's call this class LT class. Uh, the reason being uh, is that for the first method out of the th out of the three that I'm gonna show you, with which you can use uh, priority queues for custom classes, I'm gonna be using um, uh, operator overloading for the less than operator. So this uh, symbol here uh, is the less than operator essentially. Is what, is what we will be uh, overloading. We're gonna be overloading this operator here. So let's see that our class has uh, three integer values, a, b, and c. And let's say that our goal is that our priority queue um, has at, at the top, so it's a max heap, um, the instance of this class, which has the greatest b plus c sum, okay? Let's just define it like this. Um, by the way, I have to mention that this will be public since I'm using classes, right? Uh, if it was a struct, I wouldn't need to do that. And okay, this is my class. Uh, this is a, sem a semicolon here to finish the declaration of the class. And now uh, I need to do the overloading, okay? So how you do the overloading is you just say boolean operator. Then you specify which operator you want to overload. And then you just have constant uh, addresses of your uh, class. So two of them, essentially. So let's call this left and let's call the other one right. And now I need to, I, I, for the less than operator, essentially, I need to have the, le the least, I, I, I need to check that left has a lesser sum of B plus C than right. So I'm just gonna return here left dot B plus left uh, dot C less than right dot B plus right dot C. Okay, so my, um, my operator overloading is done essentially. And now I can just go ahead and say priority queue of uh, LT class, and let's call it LT uh, priority queue. And that's pretty much it. Now let's just make a, a custom testing here. So uh, I'm just gonna use Ezran here. And here I'm just gonna uh, essentially have a for loop. Let's just say we have uh, 10 instances. So Okay, so the for loop is this one. And let's say we have um, LT class, let's call it current. And I didn't make any uh, constructor, but whatever, yeah, it's just three fields. So current A equals to current uh, modulo 10. Let's just use numbers up until, let's say up until 20, right? And let's just duplicate this. And this is, it will be the same for B and for C. So we just use three random numbers between um, uh, zero to 19 essentially, is what this will give us. And then we just push this uh, instance of our class into the LT uh, priority queue. Um, so push, current. And now it's just output from the top, okay? So while uh, LT PQ for empty, so while it's, it is not empty, we're just gonna uh, output ltpq dot top dot b plus ltpq dot top dot c. So we're, we're essentially outputting the, the sum between b and c just to make sure that the highest one will be the one that will be in the top uh, at every single time. And then we just pop. 
tpq.pop. Okay. So uh, let's just save this and let's uh, test and see uh, that we get the result which we expect. All right, so I'm just compiling this and I'm just running it. And as you can see, as we expect, the, la the uh, largest uh, sums between B and C are always uh, being at the top. Okay, so it works as we expect it to, to work. All right, so one may ask, uh, can we do this operator overloading inside of our class? And the answer is yes. So you just move, the, move this exactly as it is inside of your class and you just append the friend uh, prefix here and uh, just save and let's just compile and see that it runs uh, again. All right, so as you can see, uh, it still uh, executes the same and it compiles the same. So yeah, that's how you can uh, do it inside of your own class. Now let's go ahead and check out how we can work uh, with overloading the parenthesis uh, operator instead. All right, so to use the parenthesis operator overloading, which has replaced, we can, we can either use our own class or we can use another class. In the first case, I'm, go I'm gonna be using uh, my own class, okay? So you can use your own class if you don't plan to have um, this operator being overloaded um, for any other future um, scenario, okay? And you just you're just gonna overload this parenthesis operator uh, simply for the comparison, okay, uh, of these uh, two instances of our class, okay. Uh, so you re we replace the symbol, the less done with the parenthesis, and the other thing is we remove this friend prefix, okay. Um, and the only thing left to do is to change how we are, our priority queue is uh, being declared over here. So we are gonna still be using the same uh, class for our elements. We'll keep that the same. Then we need to add a vector of the same class, okay? And the last thing we need to do is to define a class that overloads the, um, the parenthesis operator and makes a comparison. So in this case, it's the same class uh, that we used uh, for our elements, right? So let's save this and just uh, run a test that uh, this works as well. All right, so here I'm just compiling it and just running it. And as you can see, it works exactly as we want it to work. Um, so let's go ahead and implement the same um, uh, operator overloading, the parenthesis operator overloading using uh, a custom class this time, okay? Okay, so now to use another class instead, we're just gonna cut this from here, okay? And just declare the other class, let's call it comp class for uh, comparison class. Uh, and in the public part, we are going to define this operator overloading, right? Uh, let's finish the declaration with a semicolon here. So now that we have this um, other class, uh, we have uh, essentially freed uh, uh, our, our main class from having to do this operator overloading. So it can use this operator overloading for other purposes, okay? Uh, and this comp class uh, takes over this uh, for this comparison. Uh, now, the only thing left to do is to define this in our priority queue. So uh, here, instead of using LT class, we're just going to delete that and say comp class here. So what is the class that, it, that it is being used for the comparison? It's this comp class, since this is where the operator overloading is done, uh, the parenthesis operator overloading is done in such a way that compares uh, the two instances uh, that we, which is exactly what we need. Okay, so let's test this and see if it runs. All right, so let's just compile again and just run, run one more time. So the results are exactly what we expect them to be. And now let's just uh, move on into uh, looking at the last method, which I'm gonna show you in this video, uh, which involves using the uh, class template uh, function, okay? All right, so now to use the class template, uh, which is called function, and uh, instead, of, instead of using uh, a class and operator overloadings, what you need to do is uh, essentially just declare a function here, let's call it, of course, it's going to be Boolean, okay? Uh, let's call it 
um, comp for my comparison. And this takes as parameters uh, LT class instances, okay? That's what it's, co it's comparing again. So I can go ahead and say const LT class left const LT class right. And I'm just gonna copy paste this line here, right? So just pasting it here. And that's pretty much it now. The only thing left is the is to change the parity queue definition. Okay. So here you're just gonna say that uh, I'm gonna use the function class template here. And here I'm just gonna uh, use a boolean uh, that takes again LT class and LT class. We just uh, put an enter here so you can see this. There we go. So again, uh, I just set function, okay. I opened up um, this um, uh, symbol here again, the less than greater than symbols, the brackets, uh, whatever you want to call them. And I said Boolean, and then I put the, the name of the class that I'm going to be using uh, to compare, okay. So uh, that's that's the thing you you're gonna need to change in the definition inside of these uh, brackets here for the priority queue, and the other thing you need to do is just to put the name of the function uh, in a parenthesis after the name of uh, of your of your of your priority queue essentially. Okay, so let's just save this and let's run this and see if it works. All right, so let's just uh, compile this one more time. And let's run this, right? So as you can see, we get the results that we expect to get. And that's pretty much it for the video. This, these were the three methods uh, with which you can have a custom class with a custom comparator uh, being used uh, in, in a priority queue. So to sum, sum them up, it's overloading the less than operator, overloading the parenthesis operator, or using the class template called function, which you can find from C++11 and afterwards, uh, and just define uh, the comparison function instead. Um, if you found this video helpful, uh, please leave it a like, subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot. And I will see you in whatever I will be making next. See ya.